on display today and make another team. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I don't have the time. Um, hopefully, make another team. Like I said, there's a lot of other things in play. Yeah. What's your understanding? I mean, there's like It's not transparent. Um, my world ranking is good. They're taking, the rules are weird this year. They're taking girls who made it in cross country races and who have road race times. Um, I'm eight seconds off of the world standard. It's a relevant time. So I'm just hoping that they consider me. And, um, I'm gonna be competitive on the world stage and do better than I did last year um, if, if they allow it. So <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> Will you do a tank day between now and the end of July to try to go for the standard or to improve your um, That's gonna be a really tough move, uh, especially with how aggressive the time is. Um, we've had perfect races set up for us and it's, just, it's such a hard time to get. Um, likely, we're going to just hope that they're going to go off the world ranking and just take me. Um, I do have the A standard in the 5, so we'll probably be making all these decisions after the 5K. Has it been a source of frustration at all with it being quite unclear about how these 10K spots are going to go? It's really frustrating, honestly. Um, I, like, it goes back a decade for me when I was second at the Olympic trials, didn't have the time. Um, but like this year with things not being clear cut and with things not being fair in my eyes, like taking cross country times, it's not the same thing as track. We should be bringing the, the best players to the world championships. Um, so yeah, it is, it is very frustrating. <laughs> What's been the biggest change for you uh, in changing you know, groups this year in the training? Um, very, very aggressive training, uh, and that's what I wanted. I, I wanted to get to that next level. Um, so just my bodily, my body handling all the um, like really aggressive workouts. Alistair's training is like no other coach. Uh, so it's been good, but it's been very, very hard. <laughs> to that point, based on what you shared earlier in the week, how did you affect the body responded to that? Uh, it was an interesting race. We were literally jogging out there. Like, it was, like, slower than a jog. So, um, at one point, I just took the lead because I was wasting energy in the pack. Um, some of the, gr like, girls weren't letting me in on the rail, so I was like, all right, let's 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 get this to be a more honest race. And then once that happened, I, I felt good. I felt like um, I was able to at least get third, but hopefully... Um, do some more work um, if if I can get to, on the world's team to cover those gaps with one and two. You said earlier this year you were you know, moving up to the marathon doing one this fall. Is that still in the game plan? Uh, or is that the sense? Um, so with Alistair, everything is like subject to change at the very last minute. So uh, yes, uh, as of right now, we're still talking about that, but I think if if I make this team, um, things might change. It's just, yeah, I've, I'm not really sure. I don't have a clear cut answer for you there, but we're still really gearing towards the marathon at some point. Was your game plan just knowing that you didn't have the standard going into tonight's final, trying to get that time, but also get the top three, or what was just kind of the mindset like going into tonight? Um, it's just such a hard time to get that there's no way um, that we would have been able to run that at a U.S. champs. So no, I just wanted to get top three. Um, I was even hoping to like do better than third place this year, but uh, yeah, just. Yeah. Hopefully they'll um, consider my world ranking. Um, that's what we're talking about. Like, yeah. Patience is definitely I don't know. I don't, I don't foresee me chasing college, the time, like, but if it comes to that, maybe. Hard, so I think that's been something that I've Did you, to would you consider a slower and tactical and race like this as hard like at the end? Like, it, it, at what point in the race is it like, this feels like a 10K normally does after how slow the opening laps were? Yeah. Um, when it goes out that slow, it's like, okay, where's Alicia? Because <laughs> once she makes the move, it's going to be brutal, and that's exactly what happened. But I kind of wanted to make a move before anybody else did. Um, gives me a little more control in the race, and so I'm glad that I was able to do that. Were you well aware of where fourth was the whole time? Um, where Alicia was? No, at fourth. Sorry. Oh, uh, fourth. 
So I did Like, did look you know back. you were in the top three safely? I had to look back like three times and I was actually surprised that it was pretty gapped. Um, but I still like ran as hard as I could, which I'm proud of. Thank you.